December, these couchings and these lowly courtesies might fire the blood of ordinary men and turn preordinate and first decree into the law of children. Be not fond, you think, that Caesar bears such rebel blood that will be thawed by the true quality with that which melt this fools. I mean, sweet words and low crooked curtsies and base spaniel fawning. Thy brother by decree is banished. If thou dost bend and pray and fawn for thee, I spurn thee like a cur out of my way. No, Caesar doth not wrong, nor without cause will he be satisfied. Go. Aha! Signor Antonio, many a time and often in the Rialto you have rated me about my monies and my usances. Still, have I borne it with a patient shrug? For sufferance is the badge of all I try. You call me misbeliever, cutthroat dog, and spit upon my Jewish gabardine, and all for use of that which is mine own. Well then, it now appears you need my help. Go to then, you come to me and you say, Shylock, we would have monies. <laughs> you say so. You that did void your room upon my beard, and foot me as you spurn a stranger cur over your threshold. Money is your spirit. <laughs> what should I say to you? Should I not say, half a dog money? Is it possible a cur can lend 3,000 ducats? Or shall I bend low with bated breath and whispering humbleness say this? Fair sir, you spit upon me Wednesday last. You spurred me such a day. Another day you called me dog. And for these courtesies, I'll lend you thus much monies. Son was stabbed with bloody daggers. God, I pray. 